Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to Dutchman Play Sky High Ambition. Uh, I'm starting this mid-run because I think I'm on personal best pace at the very least. This might even be a world record run. At the very least, I'm looking to get into the top 100. So we are only on 2-3. Um, we are only on 2-3. We already have the upgraded Tori Gate. We have Yakuman Master. I just acquired this one. I've got Continuous Sprint, which is... Um, sorry, let me change my headset real quick. There we go. Uh, continuous Sprint I've had since early on in the game. We're already up to X15. Uh, the gift bag also came very early. And the way I was able to basically pick what I wanted to have was I started with a VIP card, which reduces costs by 70% for your packs. When you get a card of higher rarity, you can sell it right away and actually profit off of each card pack. Uh, that way you can keep on drawing more packs, basically selecting which cards you want to keep and selling the rest to keep refreshing, keep buying more packs. So that's how I was able to select the Tori Gate, the Yakuman Master, the Gift Bag, the, the Continuous Sprint. I just recently sold them as I've got my build completed. The only thing that isn't fully upgraded is Bounty Hunter. When reaching Tenpai, if there are no duplicate tiles in hand, the PT is multiplied by 4. The only way this is possible is with the 13-sided weight for 13 Orphans. So hopefully we'll get this upgraded. I'm hoping the multiplier will go to times 8. Uh, Dragon God Protection maxes out at times 6. Four, eight. Actually, Dragon God might be 8 as well. It's 2, 4, 8. Well, if it comes to that, it comes to that. But basically, we're going to keep going for our 13-sided orphans. We have 7 tile exchanges to make it happen. We have open tiles as well, so we're going to try and see what we can do here. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a shorter video. Now that I've explained the setup, I'm probably just going to play silently until the end, whatever that may be. We'll see how it goes. But we will catch you at the ending. Just in case, uh, I will show the process here. We're selecting everything that isn't a terminal or honor. We're also selecting our pairs because we have to make sure that we are pulling the dead tiles into our hand. Uh, notice we do not see a south on our board. It could be in there, but it might all be deadwalled. So we have to maximize our discards to ensure that we're getting that south, we're getting that west. Uh, green dragon is also invisible. Uh, we can see the one of characters will come guaranteed. Uh, one pin is not visible. Nine so is gonna come guaranteed. Right, we got our 9 cell. We didn't need it. Uh, one Mon is fine. That will help speed things up, otherwise we would have had to wait until here. Okay, we're not getting those dragons, which is making me very, very nervous. Um, I could even discard the 9 cell just to try to get one extra bowl. Okay, we got the west. I need south, I need a green dragon. Alright, the nine came back, that's fine. I'm actually going to throw it again, because I really need the south and the green. There's the south, alright. Green dragon, alright, that's fine. So we found Tenpai. Wait, no we didn't, we need a pair still, that's fine. We're looking for that green dragon. Um... I can... Uh -oh. Actually. On this nine of dots, if we don't have it yet, we'll switch to the one-sided weight. That'll guarantee that we'll at least hit our target and get to play. There we go. Perfect. Alright, turn on the sumo and watch the money roll in. Boom. So this is our flat PT, this is a 4x multiplier, 
This multiplies the Han. This is now multiplying our Han for every single time we score a win. There's at least three more, which is going to boost our sprint. The upgraded Tory Gate doubles your talismans if you have five or less. I have five exactly. So each of these is getting counted four times. Or twice, I should say. So now that the explanation's out of the way, we're just going to let it run. I'll catch you back at the uh, the ending. Well, chat. With the double white Dora indicators, and the fact that we were locked to only three visible tiles, I didn't think that we were going to get the white so I threw away the idea of scoring the 13-sided weight. I instead went for just a simple half flush, thinking it would be easier to put together. I saw a 7 and a 6 in the discards. It made perfect sense. Uh, with all of our multipliers and our adders, we didn't need a Yakuman. But, you know, Mahjong gods have a bitter sense of humor. Uh, even... Even with a three-sided weight, we, uh, we couldn't put it together. So that's the end of the best run I've ever had. Go ahead and cash out with our final score. It sucks! It sucks real bad! Um, I felt like that run was on a very good pace. Easily my personal best. I was hoping world record, but... It is what it is. Anyways, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like and subscribe button. It really helps small channels like this one grow and reach a wider audience. And I hope you have a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening. Goodbye.